Hello friends, in this video we will discuss 14 crucial things to know before constructing a staircase. So let us start. Number 1. Rise. Rise refers to the vertical distance between two consecutive steps. The minimum rise should be 130 mm while the maximum rise should be 180 mm. If the rise is kept more than the standard height, it may cause discomfort and difficulty while climbing the staircase. On the other hand, if the rise is less than the standard height, it may lead to a higher chance of tripping or losing balance while navigating the stairs. For house, the ideal size of the rise in a staircase is between 130 mm and 150 mm. Number 2. Tread Tread refers to the horizontal surface that you step on when ascending or descending the stairs. It is the part of stair that supports your foot. The minimum width of tread in a residential building should be 10 inches, that is 254 mm, while the maximum width should be 12 inch, that is 300 mm. If the tread is too narrow, it may be difficult to place your foot comfortably, which can lead to instability or accidents. On the other hand, if the tread is too wide, it can make the staircase uncomfortable to use. Number 3. Handrail A handrail in a staircase is a horizontal or sloping rail that is designed to provide support and safety to individuals. It helps users maintain balance and offers a firm support to grab in case of slip or stumble. The minimum height of handrail in a staircase is 900 mm and the maximum height is 1100 mm. If the height of the handrail is more than the standard height, it might pose difficulties for users with shorter height or children to reach and grip it properly. Conversely, if the handrail height is lower than the standard, it could result in insufficient support and compromise safety, particularly for taller individuals. Number 4. Landing Landing refers to a flat platform or area that is provided between two flights of stairs. The purpose of landing is to provide a resting place for individuals and also to change direction. As per National Building Code, the minimum size of landing in a staircase is typically determined by the formula L is equal to 2H plus T, where L is the length of landing, H is the height of riser, and T is the tread depth. The minimum length of landing should not be less than 750 mm. Usually, the maximum size of landing should not exceed the width of flight of stairs. If the size of landing is kept smaller than the standard size, which may lead to safety hazards, especially in emergency situations. Conversely, if the landing size is larger than the standard size, it may result in insufficient use of space and increase construction cost. Number 5. Width of Stairs The minimum width of stairs in residential buildings should not be less than 1 meter, that is 3.28 feet. The maximum width of stairs is generally recommended to be around 1.25 meter, that is 4.1 feet. For commercial building, it can go up to 2 meter, that is 6.5 feet. If the stairs are too small, it can be hard for people to get out quickly and safely in an emergency. Number 6. Newell Post A Newell Post is a vertical post that provides support and stability to a staircase. It is typically placed at the beginning and end of a staircase and sometimes at intermediate points. The Newell Post provides structural integrity and safety. It also adds aesthetic appeal and can serve as a focal point of staircase design. Number 7. Pitch or Angle of Staircase The pitch or angle of staircase refers to the slope or inclination of the stairs. A common guideline is to aim for a pitch between 37 to 42 degrees. If the pitch of a staircase is more than the standard angle, then it may cause fatigue more quickly and increase the risk of tripping or falling. If the pitch of a staircase is less than the standard angle, 
then it can be more tiring since they require more steps. Number 8. Flight A flight in a staircase refers to a continuous series of steps that connect two levels or floors. Most building codes specify a minimum of two steps in a flight of staircase. Some building codes may stipulate that a flight of stairs should not have more than 12 or 16 steps before requiring a landing. Minimum gap of 1 feet should be kept between two flights. Number 9. Waste slab Waste slab refer to the horizontal slab that connects and supports the treads and risers of the staircase. The waste slab thickness is typically around 150 mm, that is 6 inches. If the thickness of waste slab is increased beyond the standard, it will add additional weight to the staircase and may require additional structural support. Conversely, if the thickness is reduced below the standard, the staircase may be more prone to cracking, sagging or other forms of structural failure. Number 10. Headroom Headroom in a staircase refers to the vertical distance between the highest point of the tread and the ceiling or any obstructions above it. The purpose of having adequate headroom in a staircase is to ensure safety and prevent accidents. Common guideline is to maintain a minimum headroom of 6 feet 8 inches that is approximately 2.03 meter. If the headroom is more than the standard height, it generally does not cause any significant issues. On the other hand, if the headroom is less than the recommended standard, individuals may hit their heads while using the stairs. Number 11. Floor to floor height The floor to floor height in a staircase refers to the vertical distance between finished floor levels of two consecutive floors in a building. Generally in residential buildings, the floor to floor height is 3 meters, that is 10 feet. In commercial or public buildings, the floor to floor height may be higher, typically around 4 meters, that is 13 feet. Number 12. Concrete mix ratio. Minimum M15 grade concrete should be used in construction of staircase. That is, a ratio of 1 cement is to 2 sand is to 4 aggregate. Number 13. Minimum dimensions required to construct a staircase. Minimum width required is 6 feet and minimum height required is 10 feet. Number 14. Minimum space required for a staircase. A minimum space requirement for a straight staircase with no turns or landings is typically around 40 square feet. So friends, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.